What's up everybody? Steve here, RGT Custom Sabers. Got another saber to show you guys tonight. I just finished up for a customer. Um, and this time we're going Vader all the way. Did a Romans MPP uh, conversion for a guy. Um, wanted the whole works. So we did a full custom chassis, Crystal Focus 9 soundboard. Um, and for this one, because it was Romans and there was no blade plugs, or sorry, not blade plugs, um, blade holders for it yet. I designed my own blade holder, my own chassis for it as well. So we got a full reveal chassis in here. That we can, it's completely removable, Saber still works. Um, blade holder, everything. But uh, enough of looking at my ugly mug to see the Saber. So here you go, uh, Romans MPP. Black sidebars on this one. Um, yeah. So we have the bubble card in the front, uh, sloth furnace card in behind there, um, circuit card. Just super nice touch, looks amazing. Uh, just love the way it looks. There. So with the uh, plate hole design, you still get to keep those rings, or the springs, right? The spring inside there. Full MPP looking. Just a awesome saber. With the Crystal Focus 9, um, customer wanted everything, just Vader, so we uploaded, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of custom sound fonts um, on here as well. So we've got uh, Lord Blaco's Vader, um, Shamim, and his uh, Vader Rogue sound font on here as well. Um, Genesis Rogue One, awesome sound font, love that one. Uh, and another Lord Vader on there as well is also for the guy. There's some custom sound fonts uploaded, but yeah. Um, you guys obviously probably want to uh, see the chassis and uh, all that fun stuff. So we should probably get to that. But first, I kind of love those boot up sounds for Vader. So you go, you get the side of that. That uh, spring I just think looks super cool. You can do it in there. Nice bright deep red LEDs. So it's tri free red, red and white for the flash on flash on this one. If you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. Awesome. So, to get to the chassis inside, which is fully removable, only three things have to be removed. Of course, blade retention screw. That goes through everything. So we will take that out, just like so. And then obviously also can have to remove these little screws. Can't really see it there. There it is. Underneath the emitter here. One on both sides. Slide those little guys out and then the chassis will slide right out the top. You can take out the bottom as well. I put the pommel on so it is removable. You can unscrew it. Um, underneath these. It's just a lot of threads. I really don't like doing that, so I kind of just leave it there. Drilled out the hole in the center so it still looks like legit movie prop, everything else. And uh, the sound is still still pretty decent, um, even considering that there's not much of opening there, but it's still pretty darn loud. Pretty happy with it. So let's get this chassis out of here. So I'm just going to undo this little screw here for you guys, and then we'll be able to slide this uh, bad boy out. Um, so inside the chassis, um, holding of course Crystal Focus 9, we've got uh, two 7.4-volt uh, battery pack, USB charging, crystal chamber, like the, the whole works, basically, on this guy. There's the blade plug, and so yeah, from the top, I just go in there, grab the chassis, and it slides out just like that crystal chamber soundboard speaker so there you have a hilt complete switches are still there still work pushing up note down not going anywhere set that aside and then there is your chassis in Arabish we have the complete Sith sayings all over this uh, all over this chassis 
So on all sides, you got the entire thing there. And on the bottom, this side, it's your crystal pulsing in behind the windows there. Battery pack, soundboard. So if we open this door up here, this of course at the top is your crystal chamber. And in idle mode, it just pulses away. Gotta love the crystal focus. Super nice. Nice pulsing crystal in there. Nice, nice deep red crystal. So then there's an added touch in here on the bottom part of the crystal chamber holder. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. Also an error brush. Thought it was an added little touch. Um, this here says Padme. Just thought that was kind of a cool little touch to add, so I threw it in there. <coughs> and of course, on the back of this chamber, um, you got the wires kind of hidden in there, and you can still see that crystal pulsing inside. Both your switches, main switch, aux switch on the back. And of course, the uh, crystal does change from idle to, to activated. Let's turn it on. Pulse faster, let me complete a bit. Blasters, back up. All that fun stuff. There it goes. Now, if you want to do make any adjustments to your sound card, change your sound fonts, um, tweak the settings on here for your clashes and swings, maybe make the blade pulse more or something different, you just got to pull this cover off. Only goes on one way, only comes off one way. It's just on with four little posts. Be gentle with it um, when you pull it off. Don't, uh, don't refund it, don't break them off. It's just on there like that. And of course in here you've got your soundbar and access to your SD card. Now obviously we don't want to take this out with power on. Um, damage the board, damage all that stuff. So um, yeah, so on the back, just in the very bottom opening here, can't really, there it is. There's a uh, kill switch in there. So you just wanna flick that off. First you can see, kills power to the saber. Crystal goes out. Switches, nothing, nothing's happening. You're now good to pop that bad boy out. Just a little push, lots of room to slide it out. Take it out, stick it in your computer. Do all your adjustments, make your changes. Stick it back in. Put your cover back on. Um, again, just nice and gentle. Make sure you don't squish any wires in there, but everything is tucked in there. Really nice and neat. Um, so nothing to worry about. And then power back up. And good to go again. So yeah. There you guys have it. Roman's MPP, fully removable chassis, Crystal Focus 9. Oh, and of course, the batteries do not come out, so there's a recharge port. So what you've got in here is a USB recharging on this one. Um, and the way that works is I got a uh, DF Robotics card in the back here that takes that lower signal that all that five volt signal and uh, ups this to a uh, 7.4 volt. So a battery charger. It is lit up. It will show you red light for charging, green light when your battery is fully charged, and it is a uh, it is protected. So it will not overcharge. It will not uh, fry your batteries or anything like that. So it is a protected protected board to charge up your batteries. Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Yeah. Super love this one, guys. Tons of fun to build. So, uh, yeah, be sure to check it out. If you got a Romans and you want a fully removable chassis, all the bits and pieces, this is going up on my Shapeway store here right away, RJT Customs. Be sure to check it out. And uh, pick one up for yourself for your own DIY project. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.